Well, Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao officially launched his national pitch today at exactly 19 minutes past one. As per the auspicious time, he announced that his party, the Telangana Rashtra Samiti, will now be called Bharat Rashtra Samiti. The event comes after months of planning, his clarion call for opposition leaders to unite against BJP and attempts to make his national foray. In Hyderabad, the party general party meeting unanimously resolved to change the name of the party from Telangana Rashtra Samiti to Bharat Rashtra Samiti. Accordingly, the constitution of the party is also amended. Now, the decision was taken in a general council meeting of the party today, and a letter has been sent to the election commission to officially change the name of the party. KCR also met with JDS leader H.D. Kumar Swami before the formal launch. As soon as the decision was announced, celebrations broke out outside the party headquarters. Supporters of KCR said this is going to be the first step towards making K. Chandrasekhar Rao the next prime minister. हाँ लॉन्च होएगी और हमारा तेलंगाना ही पूरे स्टेट में बनाएंगे अदर स्टेट में भी हम लोग तेलंगाना से जीतेंगे ही आप खुश हैं बहुत खुश हैं क्योंकि हमारा सीएम के जैसा कहीं भी सीएम कोई भी अदर स्टेट में नहीं है एंड वी आर वेरी मच हैप्पी दैट इन नेशनल वाइज हील ग्लोबली मोर स्प्रेड हिमसेल्फ एंड एट द but while celebrations were going on in the KCR camp, there was one big element missing. This event that was supposed to rattle the BJP and become a formidable force against the Saffron Front turned out to be a bit of a no-show. The entire event was around KCR's national ambitions. There was next to zero presence of opposition leaders. Remember, KCR had met a host of leaders in the last few months to make this a reality. Despite meeting Sharad Pawar, Uddhav Thakre, Nitish Kumar and others, Personally, most of them skipped the event. Invitations were sent to Sharad Pawar, Nitish Kumar, Arvind Kejriwal, Himan Soren and Tejasvi Yadav in order to make it a massive show of strength of the opposition's unity. Eventually, only H.D. Kumar Swami turned up, leading the BJP to say that this change is only like putting lipstick on a pig. I strongly believe that this will backfire. He is not the first to have nurtured national ambition. Right from DMK, AI, DMK, Communist, RJD, JD, SP, BSP, Tel Telugu Desam Party, and also very recently Amadmi Party. So many aspirants for national level politics. I think uh, the Chief Minister is trying to pave the way for his son to become the Chief Minister here and leave the state politics and enter into national politics, trying his luck if he fits in in some or other uh, confederation of the regional political parties. However, Mr. Kesia's new uh, political party will not have any impact in the national political scene. Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao, after two times he became the Chief Minister, now he wants to float the party national level. In the name of Bharat Rashtriya Samiti. Previously, it was as a TRS. Previous also, he wanted to make federal system. He toured all over other states also. It is a clearly showing that it will benefit to the only. He is saying that I will counter BJP, but he is indirectly helping for BJP. So is this going to make a big dent in the national politics? Tuhin Sena spokesperson of the BJP, Karan Varma author, Anup Kumar Bugiri, TRS State Secretary of the Youth Wing, and Dr. Ashish Chauhan, political analyst. I'll start with you, Mr. Bugiri. Uh, a lot of turnout of party cadre, but what about the rest of the opposition? Is it audible? Yes. Go on, sir. We can hear you. See, first of all, uh, happy Deshra to all the panelists. To you too. So today, T a TRS party just passed a resolution according to the section 29 of uh, uh, Representation of People Act 1951. That's it. But uh, the all round, the, all the regional parties and all the national parties, they completely focused uh, when KCR want to go to national. So here, when it comes to the opposition party, we, we, we as a BRS party, Bharata Rashtra, 
party people of india is looking for an alternate a uh, political uh, people because they are fed up with bharatiya janata party hmm. because uh, you can see you can see the, what is the rupee value again is the dollar you can see the gdp na okay. jawan na kisan na jawan na kisan so the all 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 the people across india got fed up with bjp monopoly a government so, so, and uh, that okay. one, so they are looking calling. for an alternative so but why will the alternative be mr yeah, raj See, because there is no alternative, they are calling Bharatiya Janata Party as OLX Party. Are you saying Mr. Listen, Gandhi is not an alternative? Listen, listen. Now, 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 KCR throw his hat in 2024, hat in the ring of 2024 election, and people are people are scared. See, okay. being an see in the past also. In so, the Mugiri, past also, just just a follow up question. I totally buy your argument that everyone is looking for an alternative. My question is, why should that alternative be your leader? Why shouldn't it be Mamta Banerjee? Why shouldn't it be Arvind Kejriwal? Why shouldn't it be Mr. Rahul Gandhi? See, see again, see again. It's about why not Kejriwal? Why not uh, uh, Akhilesh Yadav? Why not Mayawati? It, it's uh, it's out of question for BRS party. See, we are here. to unite non bjp parties to join hand with us in order to form a third front okay. we'll try our best we'll try our best we just launched a but party but nobody came for we, your we, launch we need, pardon we nobody need to came go to for the your EC. launch we need to go to the ec we need to give our uh, resolution papers there was a uh, thing a lot to go so wait and watch there are more to come Uh, okay. I need uh, why why Bharatiya Janata Party was scared. See, because they want Rahul Gandhi as an opposition in order to gain all the elections. They don't Are want other Mr. parties Gandhi to come out. Bad, uh, so they want to win only on Rahul Gandhi figure. That was their concern is about. That's the reason they are bombarding on Bharatiya Rashtra Bharat Rashtra Samiti BRS. So wait, so you need you... to understand because there is no strong opposition. Bharatiya Janata Party is keep on winning the elections. That's it. Okay. Now, now from Telangana. See, first Bharatiya Janata Party need to remind in 1984 when you yeah. have contested election, you won your first seat from Telangana Hanuma Konda. Okay. So in 1984, when Congress sweeped the entire India, Telangana, uh, United Andhra Pradesh won 30 TDP seats, and we are a major opposition in Parliament. You okay. need to remember anything happened in okay. politics. Okay, great, great. Wait and watch, Tuhin Sena. Wait and watch. Just like Ravan, the the <laughs> Telangana Rashtra Samiti is going to burn you. Born the BJP. Very happy. Thank you and to all. Thank you and to all. Thank you and to all. Well, you know, what is sad is all the opposition parties in the country is an incorrigibly institutional. Whether it is Mamata Banerjee, whether it is Nitish Kumar, whether it is KCR, or whether it is Kumara Swami, they are not concerned about their sinking bases in their home state. KCR may not be able to retain, uh, you know, Telangana in the in the next elections. Where they but they are more worried about 2024. You know, he should just remember the way Nitish Kumar insulted KCR when he went to Patna in the middle of his press conference. Nitish Kumar got up, but instead, you know, they are competing with each other. They should worry more about Telangana. But yes. the point is, you know, um, uh, KCR was surviving on. Twin formula of minority appeasement and freebie politics, okay. both of which have run their course, both of which are yielding diminishing returns. And and while he may be you know talking big right now, fact is that he is going to lose Telangana. He also realizes it. So this is a you know face saver. Mr. Bugiri, the challenge is you will not even get Telangana, leave alone become the prime minister. You are losing Telangana. See, Your footprint is reducing. It's shrinking in Telangana. I'm, I am not. A, it is not audible to me. Can you please repeat it again? The footprint of the TRS is shrinking in Telangana, and you are talking about winning India. How will you become a player at the centre when your footprint in Telangana is shrinking? See, see, it's it's their opinion that they're thinking that Telangana is shrinking. Last time also in 2018. Sir, this is not opinion. We, see, see, Let me day, give you an example. In the one last Lok Sabha elections, when, when two, last Lok Sabha elections in Nizamabad, one day, one day, you need to listen. Sir, when when in 2018 when we raised a federal front issue, at that time also they have said the same words. But we won 88 seats in Telangana. They need to remember that. Sure. They need to remember. But that you don't become prime I, minister by winning the assembly seats. You become prime minister by winning Lok Sabha seats. Now let me give you an example. Example: A very 
very specific example of Nizamabad. Nizamabad, the sitting MP was Ms. K. Kavita herself. Now, before 2019, in the seven assembly constituencies, seven assembly segments in Nizamabad, the BJP had secured a total of just over 89,000 votes in all the seven segments. In fact, the party candidate had lost his deposit from Nizamabad urban. Despite that, in 2019, the BJP beat you. Ms. Kavita herself, in see, addition see, to winning other seats. You see, when, when line laws happen in politics, we need to accept it. It doesn't mean that you are not going to win a national politics. It's a, just a national pitch. You need to accept it. Being an uh, India is a democratic country, we have all rights to uh, place a national party. It's, it, you can see in the future that from, from, from where KCR will contest, from where BRS leaders will contest, you'll see, just wait and watch. Okay. Why people are worrying, uh, just we launch the party, why people are worrying about things. Why? It happened, madam. Aam Aadmi Party sweeped in Punjab when they don't have any kind of grassroots sure. leaders over there. So, so let me ask you this then. Great so example. Happen. Great example. Anything so let me happen. ask you this. When it's people not, are looking at that an only, alternative only, on the national only, stage, why shouldn't they choose the Aam Aadmi Party, which is winning state after state, as opposed to the TRS, which is limited to one state? Exactly. Why shouldn't they choose the Aam Aadmi Party? See, one thing, Devagarada become a prime minister. I.K. Gujarat will become a prime minister. Do you think that they have a parties in other states? See, it happened when we unite all non-BJP non states or its non-BJP uh, allies. So the, it might happen. But Devagarada the and I.K. Gujarat became prime minister with the support of the Congress, who you just called a very bad party. You just called in Rahul Gandhi see, see, the see. saying that he makes the BJP win. And after the elections, you'll go to him and say, I just called you names on TV, but now you support me to become prime minister. It's all, it's all, it's all number game. You need to wait and watch. It's, a, it's, a, it's a too early to predict the things. What happened? It's a very too early to predict things. Just Karan wait Varna. and watch. Too how, early to predict. How, how, nation will react? how nation will react? Karan Varma. You know, hmm. Padmaja, one basic mistake, in fact, two mistakes that people make sometimes while assessing our electorate is they underestimate the intelligence of our electorate. Gone are the days when people used to give fractured mandates. Today, people are so decisive that they are able to distinguish between an assembly election and a national election. So much so that we saw that in Orissa, where Naveen Patnayak got a handsome majority in the assembly elections and in the Lok Sabha ones, they gave eight or nine seats to BJP. So people are so clear today in their mandates. And it's not a game of just arithmetic. It is a game of chemistry. People see what your ideology is. If your ideology is just Modi hatred and somehow remove Modi, then people are going to look through it and they are not going to reward you. If you were actually serious about 2024, you gave the right example. You should have gone the up way. Hmm. You should have expanded yourself state after state, built your party nationally brick by brick then people would have seen some genuineness in it. You need a cadre strength, you need an ideology. Without that, it's a utopia. It's a utopia as big as the unity of the opposition is. It will be smashed to smithereens, just a trailer of which we got today itself and nobody turned up for KCR's so-called show of strength. Okay, respond to that. Why did nobody turn up? You keep saying that this is going to be a cooperative government, everyone's going to come together. If today they haven't come, Dr. Ashish Chauhan, why should they come together at 2024? Today was even a holiday. Everyone could have come. Dr. Ashish Chauhan. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I will start uh, talking about it on the note of wishing everybody a happy Vijay Dashmi. And that is the reason. See, right now, we have a time where everybody has to perform every day. I, I see Mr. Kejriwal, he's busy with the with the Dashara celebrations in Delhi. Everybody has to work every day, every time in their constituency, in their own states. I congratulate uh, KCR uh, sir and the whole uh, TRS party for becoming BRS because as my co-panelists just now talked about it, now the, uh, the voters are very, very sharp and they, they smell everything beforehand. And we want options. We, we, there are people, third front definitely is a scene something to look forward to. Mm. There are people who have issues with Congress, there are people who have issues with so-called of ED and the CBI sponsored parties. We are looking for the uh, the, the way the, the Telangana has progressed. I mean, so see the way Hyderabad has developed as an IT, uh, IT city. Mm. The way we see a lot of changes and progress which is happening in Telangana. Definitely, it needs to be replicated in the national level. Mm. And who and how it will happen, 
the the, the citizens of india are going to decide it. i sincerely congratulate all okay. the people from prs for becoming brs and what not but a blessed day of vijayadashmi to take over for a new big start so okay. i sincerely think just because of absence of few of the invitees should be taken in as that they are not ready to join hands everybody has got a reasons and and we should still give the time for a uh, BRS to develop They're just and yes up to another show of something and stronger and bigger than AI Aam Aadmi Party also you know, to 2024 I, they will make up their mind right now they just want options you know, i am very amused first of all that the TRS representative or BRS representative was giving the example of Devagoda ji let me you know state this with responsibility that Devagoda ji is becoming prime minister was a fluke there were 10 contenders it was a game of passing the parcel any could have anybody could have become the prime minister at that point of time so is is kcr relying on a fluke that's point number 1 now when you talk, when you repeatedly say wait and watch we saw what happened in patna where you know uh, nitish kumar did not even accord you the basic courtesy during a press conference then how can you imagine courtesy from opposition leaders in your imaginary journey as the pm And that is why we are talking about uh, uh, you know basic courtesies when there are so many things that we can talk about. You are abandoning, uh, you are abandoning the, the very people who voted you to power. Have some respect for Telangana state. You know you you were formed because of the people, the aspirations of the people. Now you are abandoning the aspirations of the people. They will not vote for you. Also focus over there. Win with a robust majority this time. Then think about. 2024 hmm mr bugedi in fact today the bjp said the bjp today said that the whole point of trs being formed was that you represented the aspirations of people of telangana now you've changed the name only which means you have abandoned the people of telangana now you like okay fine we've got our power here now we want to look at bigger uh, fish to fry mr bugedi have you abandoned the people we, of telangana we, we have trs was floated to demand a separate telangana pan andhra pradesh 21 years back and we are in a power from last 8 years now you can see a telangana model we have a no power cuts we have a machine bagiratha a water to every house we have a various streams across the street where people are get benefited and they are very much happy there's a reason second time they have given a mandate of telangana now bharatiya janata party they they just want they are aggressively uh, pushing their leaders to gain the ground in southern states which is a dead ring even they know that see they know a ksr is a tough leader huh. because he, he fought for telangana for 14 years and at the end, and we succeeded in that they know that they simply said that there are fluke leader they karan varma no there is a telangana they, they model they, and just like people can see to, a punjab model a delhi model a bihar model as an start, alternative they need to they need to start accepting uh, opposition leaders start they accepting not a monopoly rulers in india no. karan varma many models leaders. it's like a thali that's what you know padmaja padan everybody is coming up with a model that's the good thing padmaja and what they forget is that it is not just a state if one gets an opportunity to be a prime minister they have foreign policies to decide on they have national issues to speak on border security to talk about so ksr in the last 21 years he has just been able to grab power in telangana has not expanded beyond that state in 21 years and he expects us to entrust him with a mandate for the country in one and a half years when he has not spoken a word of any about any national issue till now has not expanded beyond telangana i mean look at the hypocrisy the fact is this is just an opportunistic power grab that who occupies the space of the opposition in the wake of congress becoming as weak as it has become everybody okay. wants to occupy that space of the opposition that is what this mad scramble is for and fact is they have no ideology except for modi hatred we are sitting by the end of 2022 and we've never heard a word from ksr about what his foreign policy is what okay. his views he shies away from even giving his views on article 370 and triple talaq such are his contradictions and such are his compulsions i don't know how he's going to manage those compulsions and contradictions because of his covert or overt alliance with aimim also okay well it is only today that the brs has been formed maybe we will hear more when he goes out campaigning on a national platform that being said another contestant now in the fray to become an alternative to the bhartiya janata party we'll see how that goes for the time being thank you very much all gentlemen and a happy dashara to all of you